Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 39 of Total War Warhammer. We've not had a lot of battles in a while, apart from a one that we tragically lost on. That's mainly because we're at the point in the game now where we've completely wiped out the Greenskins, we've completely wiped out the Vampire Lords. The only people we're really at war with we are relatively far away from. I mean, they could still cause some problems to us. Uh, what I'm trying to do is get the rest of the Dwarves in order at the moment. We are having some problem with uh, Karak Zilfin here, mostly because um, we did confederate some of the other dwarves. And that penalty will go away. But uh, in the meantime, we want to just make sure that we build up our armies nice and strong. And that we fortify our lines and put ourselves in a position where hopefully we won't get um, completely face rolled by the Chaos Forces. So, let us see what we've got. We've got a population surplus in Peak Pass, which is over here. Uh, but we cannot do anything, so it's obviously not that much of a population surplus. Technology has been researched, though. Extra tax rates would be good. Income from salt mines and dye makers into reduced construction costs. So I suppose that makes a lot of sense. Uh, what else do we need to do? Plenty of money coming in, so I must keep building up the armies where we can. This one up here is Thorgrim's army, so that is fine. Uh, Grumpy, you can... You don't need double these things here. Build up your armory, I suppose. Grumpy's is at the back, so it doesn't really need the fortifications. Mount Gunbad is even further back, so that doesn't really need the fortifications. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and get rid of the uh, refectory because we don't really need that. We could build something far more interesting there. Most of our other buildings, most of our other places are built up quite well. Um, Carag Dromar. What have we got here? Oakenhammer. Let's keep building that up while we can. We will fortify everything that we can. What about up here? Yep, yeah, we definitely want to get that upgraded. We want to get that upgraded. We've got some food coming along nicely. And then we'll want to get up here and grab um, Carrick Hearn as well. Because that's one of the other places that we need. As well as Carrick Eisel. So we will have to work our way along the mountain uh, ridge line here. Uh, can we take this one? This is a ruined miner settlement. Looks like we can still grab that. Also, we've got all the places down here that we never really bothered with. Um, guess we can go ahead and reinforce anything that gives us more money is not a bad thing uh, we can go ahead and sort of increase the size on some of these as well might as well spend some of this money while we have it do we have happiness issues well it's not going up so we we'll try and keep it maxed out if we can thought we'd said to do that obviously we did not um, we could build some other things here that might be useful and the ability to recruit down here wouldn't be terrible. Get some extra trade going, I suppose. It's probably enough money spent for now, even though we're still on 22,000, which is good. Again, you know, there's plenty of places up here that we could upgrade. Let's go ahead and get some more money out of you where we can. Just trying to make sure we can recruit all over, just in case we do get taken by surprise in the south. So, let's end the turn, because there isn't an awful lot that we can do there. There are a couple of... Um, well, not the Chaos Armies, but they're sort of little vassals. Because I think Chaos at the moment is still um, out for the count. They will come back, as they do keep respawning. Every time they get beaten back, they uh, they will eventually uh, re-enter the map. But their vassals stay on the map, so the Scaling and the Varg are still being a absolute pain. Yeah, things again now, we are hostile with um, with these guys. That's the uh, Karak, I can't remember what they're called. The the orange dwarfs, let's call them. So we do need to try and sort things out there. That's mainly going to be an issue until the confederation penalty goes away. Uh, and that's going to be... Uh, how long is that going to be? One. One turn remaining to get rid of that. Diplomatic relations minus four, four with, uh, 40 with dwarf realms. So that will be going down. Uh, unit recruited organ gun. So we are sort of building up these armies here. 
So, oh no, it was an organ gun. So we've got a cannon and an organ gun. I guess we could do that again and get another one. So let's go ahead and get right. ourselves another cannon. Um, and I guess an organ gun will have to come from global. So let's get an organ gun. That'll put you up to 19. You can get one more unit in here. I guess what we could do is we could recruit a... I guess we get a runesmith somewhere, actually. Where can we grab a runesmith from? How is a carrick, I'm assuming. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade that. Um, let's go ahead and recruit... A, I still can get a runesmith. I'm sure somewhere we have a Gromwell Forge, right? I'm not imagining things. I did definitely build one somewhere. Did I build a runesmith somewhere? Ah, you couldn't hire a runesmith. So, we, no, you can't hire a runesmith. Need to grow on real forge. I was convinced that I'd built one of these somewhere. Grow on real forge is that one. Cows a carrot. What are you working on? So if I want a Gromwell Forge, where would be the best place to get one? Carrick Eight Peaks. Yeah, you don't really need that trinket maker. Let's go ahead and get rid of you. So that's what I'll do with that extra slot in the army, is I will use it to go and put a runesmith in there so we've got a little bit more sort of magic damage output. Uh, I was going to go and use you to annoy their army wherever that army has gone because it seems to have disappeared back off to the north. So we'll keep looking around, see if we can find it. You're going to fortify that. We could go ahead and just do that mission. Um, enemy forces. That is not all that bad. I mean, they do have some nasty stuff. There's Felbats in there. There's Dire Wolves. There's Crypt Horrors. There's a Vargulf in there. Do you know what, though? I think we'll go ahead and do it. Are you at your full strength? You are indeed. Um, we will take attrition if we move out beyond this line. So let's go ahead and move out to here. Um, what do we need to go into encampment? 50% of total campaign movement range. So we'll encamp there. We'll march in on the next turn. Let's go ahead and end the turn there, then. We could just teleport there, but what's the point? We're only a couple of turns away from moving there, and it'll uh, it'll save us some uh, save us some coin. Go in and get that mission done. Get the uh, the upgraded book of grudges. Still at war with Bretonia, but I say they're they're really too far away to do anything. I say hopefully this confederation penalty will go away now on the next turn. We might be able to patch things up with the orange dwarves. I doubt it. Right, there's one of your armies up there now, so I can go ahead and try and um, interfere with you with my hero up there. Especially as you seem to be heading down here towards this mission that I want to do, which I'm not particularly pleased about. So if I wanted to go down here and I could try and assault your lords, only an 18% chance of success. Ah, let's give it a go. That was successful, there you go. Keep rolling the dice often enough, you're eventually going to win one. You've taken a lot of damage now, I could potentially run in there and attack you. If I see if I forced march, I couldn't quite get close enough anyway, which is a problem. We can go ahead and do that uh, mission there. Problem is they could attack me then, but this is what we want to do. Well, we knew this was going to be an ambush, so that is fine. We knew they were there. So we are the ones being ambushed, but that should be fine because we generally have the um better numbers and the better units. So at least you're going to get to see a battle this time around. It might be a decent one as well. We come to Hellfen, this fetid realm, to extract vengeance. A great wrong has befallen our kin. Innocent clans dwarfs on a trade mission have been butchered by the Uskalar. This fell deed has been entered into the Damascron, and the cover slammed shut in rage. By my oath, 
It shall not be opened until the grudge is settled. Until the bones of the undead are smashed to powder. Now, Dowie, take up your axes, for the undead will come to face us. They must, or I'll have every tomb, every cursed gravesite scoured from these lands, leaving these fell vampires with no puppets to command. Come then, Zangonaz, raise your minions, march them forth to the High King of the Karadankor would have his vengeance on you all! These guys must get really tired carrying that thrown around. Well, the battle has already begun. So let's go ahead and pause things because I want to be able to deal with this. They're on this side of us, actually. So they've got high ground uh, advantage. So I guess what we want to do is grab... Uh, let's zoom out so we can see everybody. Is we want to grab everybody really and um, and stop. We want to stop moving. Uh, them having the higher ground is not fantastic. We definitely want to try and get our um, grudge throwers over here if we can. We'll take the uh, let's get the grudge throwers in a control group. Uh, let's go ahead and get the two organ guns in a group and we'll get those trying to fire they may have some trouble hitting from their current position most of our ranged units are at the back we want to go ahead and try and grab the um, iron drakes and move them to the front here a little bit let's try and move sort of thorgrim to the back and we'll just take a lot of these melee units and just sort of make a bit of a front line where we can we'll pull our um, gyrocopters out over here We'll try and use them to... That wasn't what I wanted. I've just gone ahead and picked up the wrong unit there. Uh, I didn't want that organ gun in there. Let's get rid of you. Oh, it's all gone messy. Right, okay, this group... Right, stop being a group. Thank you. I just want those. You guys are a group. You move over here. And then we want the organ guns... Nope. <laughs> um... Right, ungroup you, organ guns, you guys are a group. And you're going to be firing over here. Let's go ahead and uh, hit play. Let them start moving in. They do have some ranged units, which is a real pain in the hoop. Probably want to take some of these quarrelers, start using them on the ranged. Let's make sure that Thorgrim pops all of his abilities. Because we want to try and take these units out as quick as possible. So let's go and get in there. Uh, we may very well get flanked around here up the back. It looks like we are doing. Um, let me just quickly pause up while I do this. So we'll probably use our um, gyrocopters to go and take out... That's the uh, the Vargulf there, actually, that's uh, coming in to wreck us from behind. Let's go ahead and get those um, quarrelers uh, on there. We'll also take these guys and get them back here as well. And... Um, Keep pressing space to pause and pause like I'm playing EU4. It doesn't work that way. Organ guns do what you can against that Vargulf. Being attacked here is not a great thing. We are being attacked from the back there, which isn't fantastic. These long beards, you go and deal with those zombies. The zombies should be relatively easy to get. If we can get rid of their lord, then that'll make life a lot easier for us. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, see, the organ guns are already getting uh, absolutely destroyed. Um, let's make sure that you guys stay on that Vargulf. That Vargulf is going to be the, the big problem here by a long shot. You guys, well, you're still fleeing, so that's problematic. But again, what can we do? Let's go and get these um, Iron Drakes doing some work if we can. Uh, where's Thorgrim gone? Let's go ahead and get you uh, popping all of your abilities. We're already starting to get them to uh, to break. I mean, things generally here are going well. Uh, if you can go in and attack the, those crit ghouls from the rear, the, um, the yeah the 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 back side of things here isn't working out so well. Let's get rid of those fell bats. They're causing a lot of harass. We'll move you. We've got some problems up here with these dire wolves. They're definitely causing us some problems. Let's go ahead and see if we can get down here with these uh, these Iron Drakes. These Iron Drakes are going to continue to attack these guys. Let's go ahead and start moving in. Far too many of our melee units here all tied up together. 
So let's make sure we keep throwing in here. Whenever you can pop an ability, pop your ability. Looks like you are trying to deal with these crypt horrors. That's not a bad thing. You can deal with those guys. We almost have these um, zombies out here. We've still got some units getting uh, pretty wrecked. What have we got here? You guys are sort of um, backing off because there's not a lot that you can really do. These quarrelers are running away. If you can sort of move in down here and attack that um, Vargulf. It's like the only thing they have here is that Vargulf. And that Vargulf on its own is like really, really destroying me. I don't even know where their leader is currently. Which is quite annoying. Do still have these uh, Crypt Horrors moving around the back. There we go. We've got some um, Dire Wolves moving in. Trying to take those skeleton warriors out. Look at these iron drakes. They're getting some work done uh, now. They're definitely getting something done. Um, you guys, if you can go and... Well, you're still fleeing, aren't you? If you guys can go get, get back on your organ guns, that'd be fine. Right, let's let's lead that... Let's keep trying to lead that um, Vargulf away if we can. Because if we can lead him away from the pack and do deal damage to him when he's away from everybody, that'll be fine. Let's keep trying to cook the uh, Crypt Horrors where possible uh, we definitely want to try and get rid of these skeletal warriors let's move around to there uh, once again Thorgrim you're using all of your cooldowns at the moment let's see if we can get in at the back um, of these um, crypt horrors and coming from behind so you go and charge into them from the rear those dire wolves are almost out definitely everyone's getting a little bit battered and bloody in this campaign Oh, it looks like you're still attacking whatever we've got over here. We've got more um, warriors fleeing. And a few people right at the back here um, somewhere. What do we have? I can't quite see what's going on. We've got these guys. These are quarrelers. You keep firing at the Vargulf. You guys fire at the Vargulf. You guys are backing off. You go and manage your weapons. You get back over there. Things are really going bad at, at the badly over here at the back. Let's move those quarrelers out. Ah, there's their lord. I can see where he is now. Let's go ahead and just move in here with the iron drakes. And um, do we still have our gyrocopters? Let's get the gyrocopters on there, lord. If we can get him down, then that gives us a much better chance of getting things done. You guys are back on your um, organ gun, which is fine. So if you can attack him, that would also be awesome. All of these units over here get back to the front. Let's jump in there. You guys come down here and assist against those skeletal warriors. Uh, one of these things gives you charge. That gives you speed. Um, we'll just sort of move in. Damage resistance, leadership, melee defense. Come on, guys. Get in here. Where has that uh, Vargulf gone? He's actually over here. It's taking out the Quarrelers, which is very unfortunate, but we are getting stuff done. You guys are fleeing again, are you? That's uh, uh, annoying. Let's move you out of there so that we can actually get some work done with our um, Iron Drakes. Because we'd just like to be able to cook them all if we can. Let's move you in there. What do we have up here at the back? You guys can run around this side. It looks like we are winning the battle. I mean, we've taken some heavy losses, definitely. Um, you can keep attacking that um, Vargulf. That'd be awesome. Those quarrelers are wrecked. We're definitely going to have to spend some time re rebuilding this army. It's in a very sorry state at the moment. Let's go in and try and get your guy. I still can't believe we haven't beaten these skeletal warriors yet. They're skeletal warriors. I mean, seriously, why are we having so many problems with them? Their lord is almost down, though. So that is fine. You guys get back over here. The enemy lord is indeed dead. And that's very, very quickly going to turn the tide of this battle. Their Vargulf is coming back. So let's go ahead and get our gyrocopters onto the Vargulf there. Uh, we'd like to move you guys back out of the way. I think the Vargulf is actually all they have left. Uh, indeed, the Vargulf is all they have left. And it is down. So that should be a win. It's hard to tell because the sun's moved around at the moment and it's right in my face. So I can't really see what's happening on the screen. There we go. We have a victory. We suffered some heavy losses there. 
379 losses. So we'll have to go and rebuild a few things up in that army. Always a shame when you lose stuff. But we do have the upgraded Book of Grudges. Did we actually lose any units completely? Not entirely certain that we did. Gain some experience anyway. Um, we'll execute the prisoners. We've got the upgraded Book of Grudges. Uh, let's just make sure that we have that equipped. We do. Um, we did apparently lose a unit. No, we lost an organ gun. Now, do I really want to be up here fighting these guys? I mean, they're weakened. But I think trying to fight them in my current state is um, pretty stupid. Now, how quick could I get there if I were to force march? Not quick enough, but we'll try and hot foot it over there if we can. You're trying to get back here and recover a little bit as well. If we can go up to Karak Kadurin, Kadurin, we might be okay. Uh, was I building another army up here? Yes, I was. Um, so let's go ahead and give you another dwarf warrior. And we want to get at least a couple of quarrelers in there as well. Um, actually, no, not quarrelers. We'll go ahead and get thunderers in on that one. Um, so Harak and Thorgrim both have points to spend. So there's Harak. You are down here on your own because you were like sabotaging and stuff, which was brilliant. Um, let's go and do that patrol ambusher. We just want you to ambush the crap out of these guys. You can't do anything else on this turn, unfortunately. And um, Thorgrim himself gets another point, which is fantastic. Now then, what can we give to you? What would make you a little bit more useful? Um, weapon strength plus 6%. That's got to be good. And uh, I was going to say we'll uh, end the turn there, but I think that's probably a good point to end the video. So in that case, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you're still enjoying Total War Warhammer. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.